Okay, so this particular silent film, I've had a really hard time trying to find anything on because it was considered lost. <laughs> I mean, really lost. Um, and it has like a different name to it. So, but the name that I found it under was The Life of President Abraham Lincoln. It was released in 1915. Apparently the name it had originally was Lincoln's Life. Um, the Edison Company uh, released it. I will... Um, this article is from back in 2008 when it was apparently when it was found and um so i'm kind of surprised that there isn't like some kind of wikipedia page or something for it i i haven't found anything like that but um there have been a lot of um movies for abraham in fact there was the one just i think in 2016 um maybe 2015 and um with uh sally field in it she played mary todd and um in fact i think um well had quite a cast and the the interesting thing about this let me get into it really quick um is that there was another film in 1930 yeah because this particular book that i'm reading says because oh for heavens google sent me over to something and um what does it say Frank McGlynn, Sr., as Lincoln, he reprieved the role for the film. Abraham Lincoln did not mark the first time McGlynn portrayed Lincoln on screen. He had previously played the role in the 1915 Edison film, The Life of Abraham Lincoln, which is apparently lost. Several photographs of the film have survived, so I don't know when this was written. This particular, uh, it says Abraham Lincoln on screen, fictional and documentary portrayals on film. Uh, does it say? It does not say, but, um, I will look it up and of course put that in the description as well, because it doesn't, um, by Mark S. Reinhardt, but, Whenever this was um, written, <laughs> apparently it was lost. Yeah, Frank McGlynn. And um, the one that they're talking about is, uh, of course, 20s. Let's go down. And yeah, Abraham Lincoln, 1924. And then there's another one where it talks about um, Abraham Lincoln in the 30s. And uh, I, I was seeing that one quite a bit. But this particular um, one, and it talks about in this article, and what's interesting is that um, the gentleman in the article found this picture of a guy walking past a marquee or a poster in front of a theater and uh yeah the majestic theater in 1950 that says lincoln's life and this guy says well wait a minute so he's obviously a lincoln enthusiast i kind of scanned through and uh, he decided that he needed to find it there had to be um somewhere well, they found it, and um, they obviously preserved it because they they played it back in two thousand eight, and it's it's still around. Well, they obviously preserved it. Yes, they did. 
Um, because I watched it. And I will, of course, put it in the description for you. Some of those, it, it's really hard to... But yeah, this has a picture of someone walking by the Majestic Theater. It was first um, played at the Majestic Theater. Um... That was the original film in Freeport in 1915. And um, it's 15 minutes long. It goes through his life, but it actually starts where he marries Mary Todd, or Mary Lincoln, and, um, and then goes through his um, political career and everything. And, um, you don't see her very much. It's like she, it, and it's interesting because it starts with her. You see her first, and then you kind of see her in spurts, and it's it's kind of too bad because she was a big part of his life, and um, that that was kind of a, a downside for me. I thought that they needed to show her a little bit more, but um, I can understand, you know, because it's it's the life. <laughs> There was kind of, there was a part that I realized that they were showing that he was, you know, the the nicer side of him. You know, it shows that he was um, just a nice guy. But I feel like they could kind of do without that scene. And um, it, it was just, it really wasn't needed because it, it was, um, you know, he's walking and um there's this lady that she's struggling with her laundry basket and so he helps her and everything and and uh it, it really wasn't needed in, in my opinion because when you look at the the rest of the film you look at that and it was so out of place <laughs> and um but yeah, um, I kind of get what they were doing, but at the same time, when they're focusing so much on his political um, career, it, it just, it, it really wasn't needed. Um, Frank McGlynn, I can see why they chose him twice to play Lincoln. He did a really good job, just like when I critiqued the Edgar Allan Poe film, Sometimes there's just those individuals who play a part, you know, an iconic or a um, particular individual from history very, very well. And um, he had those distinct features. Of, you know, when you choose someone to play, especially Abraham Lincoln, he had those distinct features and um so it, it's it's hard to um to choose because you you know that you're going to be adding on certain like uh the the eyebrows and 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 the facial hair and, and that sort of thing but other but i can see why they chose frank mcglynn i was really impressed with his um portrayal of um and I'm, I'm, I will actually try and find his, um, his other from 1924. And, um, the gal that played, again, I wish they had shown him more, I'm sure to her more, excuse me. They, they showed quite a bit. The title cards were, uh, a lot of his, they, you know, it showed what was going on in the scene, but also they did quite a few of his quotes and everything. They didn't delve into so much of his, um, of the Gettysburg Address, but it talked about how it went into the, one of the biggest speeches in, in literature. So that, that was, you know, because that, that speech is so long. So you kind of wonder where you need to cut, cut off for that. And, um, so 
they, they did a good job with that. And um, so, and um, there's a dream sequence. It, it was kind of, I don't know. I, I don't know what the, the point was to that. It confused me. It might not confuse you. It, I, I don't know. It just, for me, because it was during the part where, where the war was going on, where, where the civil war was going on. So I don't know if it was kind of one of those, like, it was one of those, um, helpful hint kind of things for him. You know, well, this is what you need to do next <laughs> during this time of need with for your for your fellow Americans kind of a thing. It just it didn't translate as that for me, and um, so. But you'll watch it and probably say, "I I totally get it." <laughs> but yeah, there is that that dream sequence, and um, it it just. And, um, but, uh, one more thing before I close up, there is a 1930 D.W. Griffith, and, and that was, that, I guess, is also the life of President Abraham Lincoln. This one apparently is titled Lincoln's Life. I know I said at the beginning that it has like two titles now. It is definitely Lincoln's Life now that I'm reading more into this particular article. I will put it again. It is from 2008, but I guess that that's when they found it and preserved it and everything else. I will also put, of course, in, in the description, the the film itself. It's 15 minutes. It And... um. Frank McGlynn Sr. plays um, Abraham Lincoln, and uh, yeah, there was just a couple of scenes that I just thought were kind of wonky. They just didn't seem to actually fit. It was almost like they dropped them in there. <laughs> but other than that, the the film was actually well done, and um, other than... Uh, Mary Todd, because Mary Todd seemed um, like a, a big part of his life. I mean, I've I've always thought so that she was a big part of his life, and she was only in like two scenes. I mean, it's fifteen minutes, but at the same time, she she only kind of she wasn't there for very long. <laughs> so that was kind of a downer for me. But um, so anyway, I'll make sure to have all of that in the description. I will try to find his uh, 1924. I will also put in the description the book that I found um, for this as well, because I'm not finding very much information. There, there wasn't even a Wikipedia page for it, but I will make sure to put the book in there for those of you that um, are Abraham Lincoln enthusiasts, <laughs> so you can read it even if it is a little outdated but um <laughs> or probably not at all i could be wrong on that but anyway so that is lincoln's life um in 1915 by thomas edison